What's happening YouTube? My name is Alex and welcome to a new unboxing video. For today I have yet another Xiaomi device called the Redmi 4. So from now on for each unboxing video I'm actually gonna show you the benchmark results. So the Antutu benchmark and the Geekbench for um, results and you can find those towards the end of each video. I'm trying to make these unboxing videos a bit more useful. So this device has a Snapdragon 625, that's an octa-core processor, we have 3 gigs of RAM, 32 gigs of internal storage, a 5-inch screen with a resolution of 1080p. So on paper this phone sounds really really good and it's not that expensive either. So let's check out the box, see what comes with it and then let's check out the phone. Let's begin! So we get the exact same white plain box that we've seen for many Xiaomi devices. You can probably notice that for on the front there. And on the back we have some specifications about the device inside. We have a couple of stickers here. So I'm just gonna cut this open. And let's see the box. Alright. So first of all we get the phone. And this looks a lot like the Xiaomi Mi 5S actually. So we'll leave that uh, aside for a bit. We get this little uh, thing with booklets inside. So let's see what uh, we have here. Some uh, instructions all in Chinese basically. And this is the SIM card uh, tray removal tool. So we'll leave this aside. We get a charging cable. And unfortunately we get a micro USB charging cable. So not a USB-C. And the power adapter. Which I can't really get out. And let me remove the plastic here so you can actually see what um, it says on it. And the good thing is that we get a fast charger. So we'll leave this aside and let's check out the phone. So first of all we get uh, this exact same plastics on the back like most Xiaomi devices. The back it's made out of metal. We have the fingerprint uh, scanner right there. This is uh, the rear camera and I believe this is a 13 megapixel uh, sensor. We have the dual uh, on flash there and the me logo right here and this time it's uh, written with the black ink or something like that yeah it definitely looks black so the frame it's uh, again made out of metal because the entire uh, phone is made out of metal the power button and the volume keys are also made out of metal on top here we're gonna find uh, a secondary microphone that uh, looks like a IR blaster and the 3.5 mil audio jack on this side we're gonna find the SIM card uh, slot and at the bottom here uh, we have what uh, looks like two speakers I'm pretty sure that only one of them is a speaker and the other one is just the microphone and the 3.5 mil audio jack on the front we have uh, something on the screen so we have the 5 inch screen uh, with a 1080p resolution these are uh, the buttons at the bottom here we have a front facing camera a couple of sensors there and that's about it for the device. So it is very, very small. Like for a 5-inch uh, phone, it does uh, feel really nice in my hand. So let's go ahead and turn this on. Hopefully, yeah, and we have some battery because it just uh, vibrated. And it took about 35 seconds and uh, it started up. So pretty quick. So first of all, I see that we have the Play Store uh, pre-installed. That's a good thing because a lot of people have trouble uh, installing the Play Store. What else do we have here? We have the remote control for the IR blaster on top there. Let's go to settings for a bit. And about phone. And here we can see the RAM. We can see the Android version. So we have Android 6.0.1. The model number which is Redmi 4. The Octagore processor right there. And out of that 32 gigs um, of internal storage we have about 24 uh, left. So let me turn this down a bit so you can see this better on the screen and I'll get uh, this a bit closer. So that's all the information uh, that we gather. So I'm just going to take out uh, this. So yeah, it looks like we can actually insert uh, an SD card. So that's a good thing, but I'll uh, check that out in the full review. Alright, so first uh, things first, let's uh, look if we have any new settings here. So additional settings, uh, notification light, so we do have a notification light somewhere there. One-handed mode, what else do we have here? I was looking to see if we have uh, anything like uh, double tap to unlock uh, the screen, but um, I don't see it anywhere here. Alright, buttons. So nothing at the buttons here. And these buttons don't uh, actually light up if you're wondering. 
We also have a 5 inch screen with a 1080p resolution. As you can probably tell, um, the viewing angles are really, really good. Let me just turn up the brightness all the way. So you can basically see the screen in any angle. So the viewing angles are really, really good. I still have to go outside and see how this actually looks in uh, bright daylight. But uh, let me change the wallpaper for a quick second. So let's find something bright. I need something brighter. Let's get this one, for example. Now you can see the black bezels all around the screen. So yeah, it doesn't look uh, that great with those black bezels. So if you do get the white version of this phone, you're going to be stuck with those uh, black bezels around the screen. So the only option to get rid of those bezels is basically have like a dark uh, wallpaper. So the camera, a 13 megapixel camera. The problem with Xiaomi devices is that the cameras suck in low light, at least the cheaper devices. So I'm curious to see if uh, this one uh, has a better camera. So we have the exact same camera app that we've seen on many, many Xiaomi devices. The same uh, settings here. And if we go into settings here, we can uh, change the camera to like the full screen. We have the HDR mode on top there as well. And let's check out those pictures and see how they look. So we can see all the dust on that keyboard and there is like a lot of dust uh, on that keyboard. So it does uh, look disgusting. But uh, the pictures look okay. But again, they uh, really depend uh, how they look uh, in low light conditions. And if I turn this towards myself, look at that. It says I'm like 29, 30. Oh, that's, uh, let's keep it there. So I took a couple of pictures and uh, let's see how this picture looks like. So it doesn't look that bad, but uh, it's not the absolute uh, best ever. All right, let me go ahead and install the Antutu Benchmark and the Geekbench 4 and then I'll come back and I'll show you the results that I got. On the Antutu Benchmark, we get a score of about 62,000 and for some reason I was expecting that that would be a bit higher. And here we can see some details about um, the phone. So the screen resolution, the processor, the RAM and so on. And lastly on the Geekbench 4 we get a multi-core score of about 2945 and a single core score of 828. So for some reason I was expecting these scores to be a bit higher uh, considering the processor that we have inside this phone. So here again we can see some system information and some information about the score. So this was the quick unboxing and hands-on of the Xiaomi Redmi 4. So I was expecting those scores to be a bit higher um, considering that processor that we have inside. I was expecting those bezels around the screen to be a bit smaller because they are uh, quite big uh, in my opinion. And um, yeah, Xiaomi keeps making phones every single week. So I'm rapidly losing track of all the phones uh, that they have uh, out there. Alright guys, hopefully you liked this video. If you did, press that like button. Um, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment down below. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.